Hello reformers and welcome back to Floris Expanded. Now we are currently stationed at Veluca as I was then deciding whether I should head to Cherie's or not because we were just declared war upon by the Kurgit Khanate. So we have even further worries to actually be concerned about here. So as you can see, we currently have a Vajir vassal and a Saranid vassal working together, or at least that is what was outside Veluca just before they went in to begin the siege. And as you can see, we have 295, they have 72. I think it is a little bit ill-advised for them to actually start this, but I don't think we should really argue, considering they could have 720 instead. So, yes, let us join the battle, and then we will head to Uxkar, because that has just become under siege by a few Swadian vassals, so we are going to have quite the tough time, I believe. So, one of you in the comments actually stated that you'd like to see me play entirely in first person, so for this one we will be doing just that. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether you meant an offensive siege or a defensive siege, so I will be doing both, hopefully, in this particular session. If not, then I do apologize, because there's not much I can do if they are attacking us consistently, so we'll have to try and see what we can do a little bit later, maybe in a future episode, not sure. We may get to Siege Cherise in this particular episode, I hope so, but if not, then we'll have to see about that in the future sometime. So, at least as you can see now, we're actually getting quite a few kills with this crossbow. Not too bad at all, if I do say so myself. And it seems as though our units are being able to defend rather nicely. And whoa, this guy actually survived a crossbow shot from us. Ah, he is a level 7 horseman. And I just took 42 damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, 42 damage from something. That was incredibly damaging. Whatever that was. I believe it was most likely a very high level troop of some kind. Most likely an archer. Yes, I think, as you can see there, a level 7 Swedian retinue longbowman. I believe that is most likely who damaged us for that much. That was incredibly high damage right there. And whoops, I went into third person. <laughs> I'm used to that. Okay, so let's see. There is one fellow over there. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, yes, there we go. Very nice shot. 4.3 shot difficulty. Not too bad. 53 meters distance. Not too bad, but yes, I'm rather impressed by that. Not bad at all. Okay, so 21 renown was our award for vanquishing a very easy foe. Not entirely sure why they wanted to attack us that much, but it seems as though we will be letting them go. Yes, Saranids and Vajirs together. Wow, that is rather annoying. <laughs> but yes, we now have the Kurgits against us, and so we may have some issues with having Kurgit units in our army. But for now, I will have to keep them in, because we don't have any other options, unfortunately. So we'll have to see what we can do in just a moment once we have successfully, or at least I hope, successfully defended Axkarl. So, let us upgrade our units. Now, I must also let you know that I have sent a gift to King Ragnar, or I've sent an emissary to King Ragnar with horses of 6,000. Now, I'm hoping that this will increase our relation with the Nords, or at least a little bit, and then we may be able to send another one with an offer of peace. Now, they are in a very strong position, so it is highly unlikely that they accept, but you never know, and I'm just really hoping that they will accept it, because I can realize now that having war against so many people is a very bad idea. I have also traveled to Suno in my off-screen time, and I indicted two different vassals that we took from Suno in the previous episode, and that was, I believe, Rochabath and Nuas. Ah, no, no, it was Gunda and Rochabath, so we don't have to worry about them actually reducing in relation any further because they were somewhat more upset than most of the vassals we have, so that's pretty good. 
And it seems as though they have actually left. Which is really strange, but at least it gives us a chance to buy a few food supplies. So yes, I'm not entirely sure where they ran off to, but hopefully they will not return. And now I am hoping we will be able to get to Cherise and maybe take that, because then I will be able to fight in first person once again. So, let's speed over there. And what's going on here? Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay, I do not want to get involved in that. That is over 1,000 forest bandits. Very menacing numbers indeed. Okay, so now we have Gazwan engaging one of the Vajir's vassals as well. Hopefully he will stay alive. Oh, okay, so it seems as though we also have another vassal that is renouncing his allegiance from the Rodok Republic. And he is joining us, so that's very nice indeed. And we also have an offering of a peace agreement from the Swadians. And I will be accepting this no problem at all because... Goodness knows, I do not want any more Swadians attempting to siege Uxkarl or any of our other strongholds while we are currently in the south of Calradia. So, let us hope that we arrive here shortly. And we should be able to take this without too much trouble unless they have rather sufficiently garrisoned it back to its former strength, which I am hoping they haven't, of course. So, let's see what we can do here. Now, we do have quite a few... Rodok Republic vassals around here, and yes, as you can see, look at that. That is not good at all. Minus 38. Mmm. They were agreeably surprised. Aha! Welcome back. Okay, so maybe it would be a good idea if we sent an emissary with some peace offering <laughs> to Nords. I don't think they would accept, really. But you never know. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's Doge Graveth. That is not good that he is that close to us. He may see fit to interrupt our Siege of Cheriz. Let us hope not. Let's head in. Okay, here we go. It's a ladder castle. Six hours. Artie Mena arrived back just in time to give us his engineering benefits. So that's very nice indeed. And we have a few of our soldiers actually leveling up. I would prefer to actually do that right now, but... That would mean abandoning it and creating the ladders again, and that's a potential delay that I could not really afford. So let us just continue onward. Okay, here we go. 14 renowned value, I remember this. Okay, first person only, guys. Oh yes, let's see how this goes. Oh no, I am very bad at fighting in first person, but I suppose it is a rather nice change of pace though. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I would potentially like to crossbow these guys, but as you can see, I am currently being pelted by a lot of their units. Or should I say archers, more specifically. And that is not entirely what I would really appreciate. So let's put our archers actually outside here so that they don't crowd around our infantry and they are a little bit more useful back there. Whoa, look at that arrow sticking in there. That is very menacing. Okay, come on, let me in here. Come on, I want to swing at them and take them down and hopefully not get vertigo because I do suffer from vertigo. Oh yeah, there we are, nice. We're doing some good damage there, at least I hope so. Come on, take them down, take them down. Yes, okay, come on, let me in there. Thank you very much. Okay, now I'm going to pay their archers a visit. Or maybe not. Yes, there seem to be quite a few of them. Okay, how about up here then instead? This might be a good idea. Oh, maybe not. Remember vertigo. It afflicts me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take that. No. Yeah, that's what you get. Yes. Okay, we're not doing too badly. We're keeping them busy so they, they don't always attack our own units down on the ladders there, which is always a good thing. We can take them down. Oh, and we have a cavalry unit in here helping us out. Very nice. Or two of them even. Very good. There we are, taking those guys down. And thank you very much, Swadian Man-at-Arms. Aha, very nice. 
Okay, so we have the rest of our forces here doing quite a good job. And now I just have to make sure that my archers are doing an okay job down here. Only four of them remaining. Oh my goodness. Okay, they were completely massacred. I think I may as well tell them to charge in now. Just in case. And now let's get my crossbow out and potentially do some damage this way. I need to take out the highest level units if possible. That would be the way to go. Or at least the ones that currently still have arrows, that might be a good idea. And how in the world did I miss that? That was terrible. Ah, there we are. At least we hit that one. Okay. As long as I can take all of these down, then my units should have a rather good time of taking down their infantry. There we are, taking that guy down. And here we go. We are now receiving quite a few enemy reinforcements, as you can see. And we can only hope that I can take a few down with my crossbow. And yet again, how did I miss that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. How about that guy? No? Oh, apparently not. I may have hit the floor just there. Come on. Take him down. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Who is shooting at me? Those few over there. I may pick off one of those. Or completely miss. Maybe a shield blocked it. How annoying. Yes, there we are good damage there and I think we may actually want to get into the fray at some point because as you can see our units are having quite a few issues and that is not exactly the way I envisage this actually going but you never know we may be able to pull it out of the bag <laughs> in more ways than one we need the assistance we need a miracle right now I think oh no okay so I should really take a look at making sure that no one else is firing on us. Seems only downstairs they are. And we are now receiving reinforcements, which is the greatest message I could ever receive at the moment. Oh yes. Now let's just try slashing at them. Yeah! Take this. Take that. Okay. Ooh, careful. We have quite a few arrows sticking through our shield right now. And we are gaining even more. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we actually... Oh dear. Oh no. This is not good. I did not mean to be here. Okay, let me through. My shield is made of absolute kryptonite and so forth. <laughs> oh no. Let me go. Aha. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, we got through. So now all I have to do is prevent my shield from being destroyed by their throwing weapons. Which is easier said than done, of course. Oh. Yes. There we are. Now we are in a really good spot, or at least I hope so. It seems as though we are getting pelted even further by their throwing weapons, but thankfully I may be able to flank a few of these guys. They do a lot of damage with their throwing weapons, so I would prefer to take them out as quickly as possible, at least. And now we can take out one of the last, maybe. There we are. That's much better. Yeah. Okay, so now my shield is about to be destroyed. So what I want to do is move back here and take up a ranged stance, as you can see. And, of course... As soon as I do so, they take out all of the enemies in view. <laughs> well, that is the way of things, isn't it? Okay. So instead of that, we will hopefully ascend the stairs, and I would have preferred to have picked up one of their shields. Yes, there we are. That's much better. Although it is a little bit smaller, I think it will do the job, considering it is in perfect condition to defend against any arrows and javelins. Come on, take him down. Is this one of ours? Yes, it is. Okay. Take him down. Yeah. Overhead slashes. Oh, yes. Most damaging, at least for me. Come on. There we are. Oh, no. My shield has already been destroyed. Oh, my goodness. That was incredibly fast. Okay. Well, I know not to take their javelins very lightly. That's why I was very surprised that our previous shield lasted that long with all of the javelins that were sticking into it. And it seems as though there is one last enemy on these stairs, and that is it. We are victorious in taking Cherise, or at least 
We will be if there are no street defenders. Aha, there are no street defenders. Okay. So it seems I will be letting this fellow go because he has a very high relation indeed. And this guy also has a very high relation. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we can hopefully get them to defect to us. That would be amazing. Very nice indeed. If that were to occur, of course. And now I will take all of these rescued prisoners and recruit them to our cause. And there we go. Very nice indeed. Now we just have to level up a few of our units once we get out of the screen. And a large bag of javelins. Yes, of course. Okay, so Artie Mena and Jeremus have upgraded their helmets, which is very nice. There is a large bag of javelins there. Not entirely sure whether I'll be using those. I do not really like javelins that much. I prefer throwing axes, if anything. Okay, well, anyway, that will be fine. We will let our companions collect the rest. And then we will be giving this to Tredian, I believe. Or actually, should I give it to myself? Because this is a town. Ha. Huh. As you can see, these are the vassals that we currently have now. We have six vassals, I believe. Rolf, Floris, Gazwan, Tredian, Nuas, and Gulasan. Hopefully that should be enough for now. At least when we start taking on the Nords in a rather monumental battle, then I think we may want to increase our vassals maybe to eight. But as it stands, I think six may be fine. So, yeah, I think we may give this to Tredian, actually, but... He is very far away at the moment. Hmm. I don't actually know. I think we will give this to ourselves, and then we will give him a few of the villages surrounding it. As you can see, we've taken ownership of five different villages. So that would be a rather good thing to do. So, let's see now. Aha, Rolf has increased. Gazwan has deteriorated when we actually shared that. That is rather strange to say the least. Okay, never mind. That is fine. And now the only unfortunate thing, of course, is that I have to garrison this. So, what I may do is level these guys up. And I will cut away for this because it is a little wasteful to keep you watching this. So, I will cut away. And once I have garrisoned this with a rather suitable force, and yes, by suitable I mean around 30 or 40 troops, which is not exactly ideal, but it is what we will have to deal with for now. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so there we are. We have station 38 there, which is absolutely terrible, actually. So, maybe if we can head into the castle, we may be able to actually talk to our constable and maybe get a few units recruited into the garrison. That might actually be a really good idea. So, let's see what we can do here. Constable, hello! Let's talk about recruits and training. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let's talk about patrols instead. Yes! This is what we want. Cherise. Yes, we do want to do that. Okay, so that was very nice indeed. Now, for some reason, it didn't take any money from me, which is a little strange. Is the patrol actually going to come out here? Ah, there it is. Very nice. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to catch it up and be able to tell it to reinforce the garrison. Yes. Do it. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, there we go. So now we have, if it were update, 88 troops. Very nice indeed. So that should be fine. And now I believe it would be a good idea if we headed back and... Went around to potentially... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Because... Uh, Veluca is actually very weak as we stand as well. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We will actually head back to Suno because we do have a vassal that currently actually came to us. And it may be a good idea to take him. I don't know just yet. Let's just see what he actually says when we meet him. So I will cut away once again, and once we arrive... I will see you then. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived in Suno, and now we just... Ah, here he is. Dominus Amdar. Let's speak to him. Aha. Oh, so this is actually someone from the Saranids that actually defected to the Rodox, and now he has defected to us. He may be a faction switcher, which is 
a little bit of a shame, but yeah, he does have zero relation with us. But should we accept him? Hmm. I'm sorry, your service is not required. Yes, he's joined the Grand Principality of the Vajirs now. Ah, I see. So maybe he was not the best choice because, as you could see, he was a little bit upset that we did not accept his pledge. Although that could just be the default reaction in this particular mod. So you never know. I don't know, really. But, oh, here's our Chancellor. We may be able to send a gift, actually. Ah, no, that's to a person. I see. Hmm. Maybe we should do that? No. Okay, well, seeing as we are currently here, maybe we should get some freelancer recruits. That might actually be a good idea. I would like you to take up residence somewhere else. No, not particularly. I'd like to hire some freelancer recruits. I have 16 level 1 freelancer recruits. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the big deal about freelancers is. I know they can use increased equipment and so forth, but... You can only choose from a preset amount of equipment, so... Hmm. Maybe we should just get 16. That's only 800, so that's not too bad at all. And, yes. There we are. That's very nice indeed. And now, I think we may want to head to Odval, who is currently here next to our constable. And our chamberlain, of course. Oh, actually, we should check how much we have in the treasury. 45,000. Whoa, okay, yes. We actually just received our wages from Cherise, and that has now pushed us over 11,000 dinars every week, so that is very nice indeed as well. So, let us now dispatch an emissary to Ragnar, and we should enter into a truce, and we will send Artimena. Yes. Now let us hope they do not assassinate him. <laughs> That would be terrible. Okay. So, I think this should be fine. I would like to grant, as I say beforehand, I would like to grant one of these to Tredian. There we are. Now he is back to zero, which is very nice indeed. And I think we may want to give him something else as well. Let's give him Bouvron as well. There we are. Okay, that seems very nice indeed. Okay, so now that all of that management is out of the way, I think I will end this episode off here. So, I thank you for watching, and next time on Floris Expanded, we can only hope that Ragnar accepts our truce agreement. If not, then we will hopefully not be the target of any of his attacks. So, I will see you next time.